hello and welcome to to another video. Today, my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend, is, go is going to build her first ever PC, which would be a home theatre PC for the uh, bedroom. If you look at one of my other videos, I uh, I've built one of these before, but this time, as I said, I'm going to te teach my girlfriend. Hi. So this is sort of going to be a, a tutorial uh, for her. Um, and she wants to learn, learn about uh, building PCs and, and what goes on, on the side them, etc, etc. So, without further ado, we shall explain all the parts. Uh, this is the motherboard. It's got a Z77 chipset in it. Uh, it's got built-in graphic. Uh, no, that's the processor, so we've gone about that. Um, it's got all of this stuff. Network control, easy BIOS flashback, independent control, turbo speed. All the things a modern, a modern motherboard uh, should actually have, but it's, it is, it's powerful enough to, to you know, for a, for a media PC, home, home theatre PC. Let me see inside it. And uh, just to explain to you what some of these bits are, this is the what they call the main board or the motherboard. Um, now let me earth myself while I take this out of here. This is what you should have when you're messing about with, with, with circuits: is to um, which is, this is earthed and it stops any static stops any static from um, uh, you know going onto the board and frying any of the, any of the components particularly if you're handling memory which we all do mm -hmm. but just take the board this is an anti-static bag so that, that in travel that doesn't all the board's going to work okay okay now what we've got here this is our main board yep. okay, yes we are going to need some of the parts inside there so put that to one side for now and just explain what goes where. The memory, which is I've got to bring down, it's not here. This goes here. Uh huh. It's going to take up to up to four. It's probably dual channel, but we're only going to put one stick in of four gigabytes. That'll be enough. Be, be enough for our needs. Um, the processor will go there, which is in this box here, and the fan. And this is an uh, this is an i3, I believe. It's a G120. It's an Intel Pentium G. No, sorry, two one twenty, three point one gigahertz. It should be fairly quiet because it's for a home theater PC. Not very powerful. It's not an i7 or anything, but it'd be just good enough uh, uh, for what we need. Processor and fan will go there, and this is where all the bits go in at the back. So you've got your PS2 keyboard, you've got your uh, you've got your US, USB ports, HDMI port, uh, DVI, digital video interface, the old style VGA even on there. It could be VGA free these ports as well. Uh, not VGA free. What we're talking about USB free, and um, and your audio network, and it could be SATA even. Don't know. Have to look at the manual. And what we've got here is is the hard drive. But this is different to the standard hard drives, which are mechanical and slow. This is solid state, so it's just pu purely a memory card really, uh, similar to your card you put in your camera or um, or USB memory stick. Um, and it's much, much faster, about 10 times faster, I would say, in, in real world. And I've been using them for all my PCs for a year or so now, and I wouldn't want to go back to a standard drive. I just use standard drives for storage now, not for booting or anything like that. Yes, and here it is inside. Let's just get out what we got with it. We've got the actual drive, and that's where the connectors go, the SATA connector and the power connector. And this is like a memory. Yes, yeah, like a memory stick. This is the yeah, hard drive, though. It's where all your programs will be stored, and where Windows, Windows 8 on this, I expect, will be stored. Mm -hmm. um, and it will boot up really quickly because it's much faster than, than a, uh, a head whipping across a magnetic mm. disc, yeah. which is what, a, what that sort of drive is. And so we just plugged it in, but you will do get with it the usual instructions um, and, 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 and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, some stickers. What are these stickers? Oh, you can put a sticker on Samsung SSD. It's 120 gigabytes, mm -hmm. but it's fairly reliable apparently. They're fairly reliable, and that's what you get with that. And we've got the optical drive, not a Blu-ray, but just a DVD for now. However, I might replace it with a Blu-ray if I use it to replace my box underneath. It is a Blu-ray player, and these are really cheap, about 15 pounds. We got all of this from Navitech, which is my local computer store to me in Reading. Um, and this that's just standard SATA connector, it's the same as the hard drive, power and data. Mm. And, and that's it. This is the DVD drive, and this is the memory stick. No, it's the hard drive. The hard drive. And uh, the hard drive, DVD drive, 
And this one is a memory stick? No, that's it's the processor and the fan. That's the brains of the computer. The brain of the computer, and this is the mother. This is the motherboard, which the, the processor goes on, the hard drive connects to, the DVD will connect to, yeah. the memory will go in, and it will go in this case here, which we'll look at, which ah, we'll unbox next. Okay. And now, now we're unboxing the case. This case is like half height. It's really, it's, it's really nice. It looks like a part of a hi-fi stacking unit from the from the past. But it's um, it's quite yeah. It's really does does look really nice. The one I've already got does anyway. This is my second one. What have we got here? In this box here, we should have all the. We've got uh, like the instructions. We've got all the cables and screws plates at the back, all the stuff that we um, uh, we need there, and then we'll just get it out of the box. If you can pull that side please. My sweetheart. You are welcome my darling. <laughs> well the viewers be reaching for their sick, sick bucket. Let's have a look what we've got on it so far before you open it up. It's all connected up inside. With the DVD drive will go there. So you press that and that DVD will open. That blank and plate will be replaced with that. Yeah. This is front USB port, so you can stick your, um, you know, your your card reader from your camera in there mm -hmm. to, to you know upload your pictures or display them. Right. You've got your audio for headphone listening or, or microphone if you want to do do your karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> You've got your your power switch. Mm. Um, and other switches which might work like pictures um, you just press them but also I think I think there's a remote control with this if we connect mm. up through this and connect it properly how much all this stuff cost you then? Uh, well this only cost just over uh, less than 50 pounds this case so okay. I was quite pleased with that it's only got 200 uh, less than 300 watt power supply but for the board we've got that should be okay Mm. Well, most when you make most PCs these days, you put a 500 watt in as a sta as standard. But that'll be okay for this. And this is the remote control mm. that it, it, it comes with. So that if it this all works, it could be uh, of use. There is some issues with Windows 8, I think, with this, but I'm not sure on that. We'll see. Okay, okay so we're going to unscrew the umpteen screws around, keep them somewhere safe. I'm going to put them into this box here. So the, I mean, undoing them with an electric screwdriver is fine sometimes. Mm -hmm. But doing up, it's not recommended for PCs because you just, you know, even if they've got a torque on them, you just go too far mm -hmm. and ruin whatever your yes, particularly yeah. circuit board, you know, motherboards and cards and whatnot. Mm. But undoing it does speed things up a bit, especially with the many screws as this has. Yeah. That's all done now, isn't That's it? All done. So now, what we can do is we can slide out this, this, the case. I don't know what to say. What is either? Put that and then nice. Why is it not coming out? Put that to one side gently so it doesn't get scratched anywhere. And we can see what we got here. Now just to just to show you, mm -hmm. the um, the hard drive's going to go under. Show the camera. The hard drive's going to go in this bit under here. Mm -hmm. Uh, this comes out, if you look, we might have to take that out to do that, and the DVD drive will go there at the top. Yeah. The motherboard will go on these riser mm. bits there. Yeah. And the back bit, which is this bit with all the nice colour coding for USB and whatnot, will go in there, you see? Yeah. The motherboard will then go into that and mm -hmm. screw, screw onto there. Mm. That is... Uh, that's how it go, and that's the that's the really low watch power supply, which is 250 watts. Hopefully that'll cope. I might add a satellite card to this, a satellite TV card, to get uh, a multi-sat one. Uh, if I can get one small enough to go in here, but hopefully that power supply is still with a cope. Not sure about that. Don't know what the stats are. Here's the manual. It's quite it's quite straightforward. So first of all, it just says it just says uh, put in the motherboard. Then, then do your drives, then put the case back on, and da da da, it's done. Mm. So basically that's it. So the first thing we will do mm -hmm. is, 
what we will do is we will put this in. So the back plate and obviously the writing will be it goes I think it goes that way. It goes that way. So it's got to go in, it goes in from this side. Be careful because it's very jaggly metal. You watch these cheap cheek cases as well because of um you don't cut yourself on the on the metal if you sort of push it in at the top, say like that, then you can sort of it sort of clips in. But you've got to watch yourself on the metal. Sort of. There you go. That's lovely. I think I say that and it comes out again. That's it. This again it's cheap and it's bendy, so be a little bit careful. Mm. But that is now in there. Ooh, nice. so all we've got to do now mm -hmm. is fit the motherboard in and then fit all these all these um connectors to it. Yeah. So if you want to put the your strap on. So we had this now. Which is really nice. Right, well you've got your strap on, so what we'll do is we're going to fit this board in there. Um, do you want to uh, have a go at doing that? See if we need any extra support as well. It looks like we might, actually. Mm. Um, what we've got, no, 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 these will go against that back plane. See, just gently put it down. And it will, then these will line up, you see, so this has got to come like Oops, we pulled it off the board. This has got to come up there, and then this will. Go up here. Oh, right. Oh, was it not lining up at all? Oh, that's right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, okay. You see, and then it lines up. And then mm -hmm. all these things here, these holes, should go. Will also line up. Now, there doesn't. I might add, have we got any extra in here? Of them so pillar supports, which we have. I'm going to add a couple. Because if you look at the back here, mm -hmm. you see it's there, but there isn't any at the back. Mm. But they have supplied them, so we'll have to take them as sales. So we'll take this out again. Yeah. And then mm. put that there. And then we will get them out of here. There they are. Just so that when we uh, put the connectors on that board, it doesn't short out with the... We'll just a little bit back quickly. And then we can find some screws. There you go. Seems okay now. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got to do is so just line up with the holes here, mm -hmm. and that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Don't worry too much about all that there, that'll sort yeah. itself out. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a little quick. Yeah, yeah, fine. Right, now we should have screws in here. Take that out. We've got some cable ties. And some of these screws. Ooh, here and here and here, yeah. Or in this hole, silly. Yeah. So there you go. I think it's them there. So. This one go here. So. Just them, just them, so they're tight, but not over tight. Okay. Okay, just that one. Mm. Yep. Right, nice. okay. You need your processor. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's the thing we want at the top there first. But if you just undo the box, how it's supposed to come undone. Which I do yeah. yeah, oh, just, there you go, seal there, yeah. Take that. The thing we want to start with is the, uh, that's the fan. Take it out, it's fine. Thing we want is the processor that's in there. Mm -hmm. Now, believe it or not, in there is millions, or I think a billion now or so, of transistors. Really? Yeah. And mm -hmm. transistors used to be quite big, about this big, but valve tubes before that were this big, and and this contains the equivalent of billions of them. Mm. Right. Okay. To insert it, what you do is you lift this up. I don't know. Let me know. Let me see how it works. That's it. You've done it. Yeah. If you uh, take that bit of this blanking plate off, that will do. Yeah, you do something with it. Install processor first, then remove, then remove and keep the cover. So the processor's going to go in there. It only goes in a certain way. 
this yeah. processor. Yeah, and if you look, I need to take this. Uh, yeah, that out there. Bridget, in the old days it had pins, but now it sort of has things come up to it, so not so bad. Um, it will only go in a certain way. I know, I can see it. And you've got these little triangular bits there. Well, we've got them everywhere actually. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. From the from the shape here, I will show it to you. From the shape. Yeah, I can see. I can see the little indents. Yeah. It goes in. That, that's fine. Don't, don't 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 press it too much. Uh huh. Uh, here you go. So if you put the um, put it down. Button. Yeah. And we've got to take this bit of black plastic off now. There you go, it pops off on its own, that's what it does. So that's all in there. Now, mm -hmm. what we have to do, we have to add the fan, but we have to, we have to put some, this has to go on there, like so. Mm. It's probably a paste, or, does it just, or is it already on there these days? No, it was, uh, yeah. It's already on there. So yeah, it's already there, it does it already for you, so okay. So in that case then, maybe we could have done this. Okay, don't worry about the wire, the wire will fit, I know it will. So what we do, it says put it in and turn it, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it make a difference? Is that small secure in there? This, this direction, this, the arrow goes this direction. It says to turn it, yeah? So yeah. it just needs a slight turn, does it? Mm. Oh, I see. I'm with it. Sure it's in there. It this way, yeah. CPU fans over there actually. Mm. So we just plugged it in. That's a CPU fan. No, 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 it's a good one. One hole, give, give it to me. Okay. You can see better than me. Yeah. You've got younger eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And shall this go? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tuck it somewhere. But we don't want to get caught in the fat in the blades, you see. But we'll um I've probably done it a bit wrong, but it'll do. Okay, now what we want to do now is put screw it all in mm -hmm. as we suggested, as we were doing it earlier. Mm. And we could have carried on doing that, it was my mistake. Some fa some fans, because I've put some hefty fans on some of my processors, my i7, etc. Just now get a bit long in the tooth. Um and I'd take the board yeah. out and screw in bolts underneath and all that, and I was getting a bit confused. So if you put these, uh, if you put these screws in, you can have a break. I reckon tonight you'll see this in action in the bedroom. So you want to revise what we've done so far? Well, we we put them we put the motherboard board in in the case. We put the processor in, mm -hmm. connected the processor fan to the board and, and electrically to the to the uh, to the board as well. Mm -hmm. Now what we've got to do, we've got to put the, well, the memories, I'll go and get the memory in a minute and put that in. Now we've got to connect all the wires up to the board that we need as much as we can and then we're going to take this out. I think mm -hmm. it's covering up a bit the connectors here so we're going to take that out, just that screw there and one there to connect the hard drive and all that up as well. Mm. But we've got to connect all these like um, uh, uh, bits here, which this is the main thing. Actually, we've got, we've got to take this out now, actually. So we'll do that. We'll take this out because it's going to get in the way of their connecting things. Okay, right. Well, we're going to connect the board up now to all the connectors, a reset switch, USB, and all, all that sort of thing. We've got the uh, Asus. As a Asus or whatever you call it, motherboard, we've got the quick start guide, which tells us about how to plug your memory in and all that. Um, but also where I think you should have in here where things go, will it or is it we've got to refer to the main manual for that? Yeah, the power connectors, reset switch, and all, and all that sort of thing. So this is quite uh, quite straightforward. So we've got we've got USB front panel, you've got USB there. Mm -hmm. So you can plug the USB is keyed as well. If you notice, it's keyed, and what I mean by that is, there's one you can't plug it in, so you don't get it the wrong way around. Mm. So this would have to go in to the USB connector on here. This blue one. Uh, yeah, have to go that way around. HD audio. 
we can never tell which one's what for that much of a first manual or AC unit. So that's the audio connector for the front panel. And that'll probably be the audio connector there. And both of them have the same sort of thing. I presume it's the HD audio. So that'll connect onto there, the, the one nearest the edge. And the other good issue you get with the motherboard, apart from the uh, uh, software, CD-ROM drive, you, uh, CD-ROM disc, DVD uh, disc. Should I put two or? No, 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 that's a spare one for a, for a different yeah. type of... Uh, mm -hmm. And you've got the other connector on the front there, whatever that is for, don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got, uh, yeah, the connectors as well, they just go straight on to the board. And this is the SATA cables for the uh, for the hard drive, or hard, yeah, hard drives and DVD drive. Let's put them to one side for a minute. Now this makes life a lot easier, actually. Oh, let's connect this directly. This will plug onto here. Like that, I believe. Yes, it will. Okay, but we've got here. You know, you've got the lights at the front for your LEDs for your hard drive. Yeah. Power ground, reset, and ground. So you've got to find these here. So connect to the HD. And the and what else have we got here? This is the power switch. So power and ground. Yeah, red and black. So that will go. On there, now what else we got? Speaker, I don't think there is one. Uh, that's for an internal speaker, it goes beep when you turn it on. Speaker ground, yeah, that's five volts. Uh, oh, what we got here? We've got a power switch. Oh, what? No, it goes to there, so, but where does this other one go to? There's something here. That goes to there, oh, so that'd be for the front panel. So we'll take that one out. And then this one will go, I think it goes into there like that. Only going one way. Yep. Yep. Okay, Brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, we need to attach the power lead from the power supply. Now that goes. We've got a killer wasp above us. If you can hear the buzzing, <laughs> or bee. Well, hopefully not killer. This and this will go like there and there, it's keyed. You can do it so at heart. However, because this has got a front panel, we won't plug it directly in. This comes in the box here somewhere with this. And that is for a power LED there. So what we do, take it out, take mm -hmm. this out. It goes via this, mm. you see? So, uh, which one goes where? I believe this goes into the board and then this will go into there. So yeah, so if you want to put that into there, if you look at the key there as well, you shove that into the board. Yep. Be gentle because of the mm. there's no thing there, but I think you've done it. Is that the gone way? Positive it is, let's have a look at it. Positive is to the left, does it sound underneath? Yeah, we'll take it that's right. If it doesn't work, then we'll change it. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work. Right, okay, I think as far as that's good, that's ah, we do need to connect this to the board as well, I believe. Where's that? Okay, right. Well, we, we've we've attached to the the DVD drive. We've attached one SATA cable there, and we've had to put it on the back rung there to get it to, to fit properly. So that's been successful. What we're going to do now, and uh, earth yourself to the case at least, if not uh, do that, is we're going to we're going to insert the memory. Now, if you, we've got a four gig of RAM here. I've only got one stick here, so hopefully it'll work. I've got another old, older type slower memory that all is still DDR3, which will still work. Uh, it's going to go into here. But if you notice on the memory, you've got a long bit, you've got a key, and then you've got a short bit. Mm -hmm. So, and I believe, got a little wiring here, we're going to have to tie up in a minute. I believe it will go in this first slot. Can I watch it when you're finished? Things here could go like, well, that one does. And then you sort of push it in and then push it down. You with me? Yeah. So if you grab hold of it. Push it in that side, that's it. I think we've got, think we've got the key properly, yeah. And then just you just sort of push it in until it, it sort of 
clips like that, like so, and that side too. That's in there. Mm -hmm. Now normally you'll be putting another one in, but we, uh, we're not doing that now. I might put that in later, we'll have to see. See if it works. Right, keep all these wires that right. Right, now we've got to do now, I want you to attach the power to, to there. That's where the power, that's, that, I've touched that when you touch the hard drive in a minute. But attach the power and that's there. But if you look again, it's keyed. You, see, you can get it the wrong way around. Do you see that notch mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. So that will go, I think like that. So if you want to try and push that home. Here. Yeah. There we go, just sort of, sort of gentle but firm. Yeah. Feels like that slides in nicely. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Now the final thing is the hard drive. Now we'll rest this underneath for now, so I get a proper caddy for it. But you need to keyed. You have to put it in upside down. So you want to attach that to that there. If you can see the smaller one. And then what we've got to do is attach the power here to that as well. Again, keyed the same way as the other one. So you have a look, see which way around it goes. First time, that's it. It's just sort of getting it lined up, really. Just double check. Come out, come out. No. The key. Where's the key on there? It's there. Where's the key on there? It's there, isn't it? So you are right. Yeah, you're right. The what right. you were doing. Yeah. Mm. Just got to get it in. It's just sort of go home firm without breaking it. Don't pull it down. Just push it straight in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's it, like that. Mm, That's fine. Okay. Just rest that under the lip in that solid state. Which ain't too much of a problem. Don't like doing this, but I have a little choice at the moment. There you go. That's in there. That's fine. Okay. I think actually we're all ready to give it a a test. We've got our test monitor here. We get a, a mouse. Oh, Novatech mouse as well. We will be using. When this is finished, we will be using a, a remote keyboard because it's going to be a media PC. So let's just attach the mouse um, and a USB port. Let's attach a keyboard. A keyboard. VJ is ancient. That's got a D decent as well. Right, okay. Sorry, did you want to do this? You attach that. You know how to do that, you've done it loads of times, don't you? It's going to see if it explodes. If you want to press the power button, <laughs> see, see what happens. Something happened, mm. and then it stopped. Let's try again, press it again. Yeah, it is working now. Oh, it's working. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, um, it's coming. Yeah, it's whizzing away. Yeah. So far, so good. Anything on the screen? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Your assembly has worked. Needs to be installed, please enter the separate configure your system. Press F1 to enter setup. Excellent, so here you go. Press F1. My There's no operating computer. system on it at the moment. Your first computer, yeah, put the, just let the camera down. That's it, that's fine. That's, that's perfect. Just press, uh, press F1 and it'll take you into what we call the BIOS, the basic input output system. There you go. Look at all that, it's all, it's all graphical these days. It even works with a mouse. Look at that. So you set your CPU up. Wow. Uh, your memory is showing. As far as I'm concerned, it's probably all fine. We need to set, leave it on its defaults, I think. Uh, what we've got to do now is install the operating system, uh, which will be Windows 8. And then it yes. will be yes. uh, working. Yes. Your yes. first ever yes. Yes. PC. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, well what we'll do, uh, we'll do another thumbs up when we see it all working under the big TV, upstairs, with a remote keyboard, with Windows 8 on it, uh, which is what, what, what we can install next. Well, we've, uh, we've installed the uh, PC now, you can, you can see it there underneath the satellite and above the uh, Blu-ray set-top box. Um, and there is Windows 8 on the screen. 
Well, well we've got right up to it the, uh, the remote keyboard which works right from the other side of the room, from, from the back of the bed. Also got this remote control which, well, it will turn it down. It did last time I used it. No, it's not working today, for some reason. Oh, there it is, it's finally going. We'll turn it down. Yep, it took a while. But anyway, it's not particularly brilliant. It's, e it's easier, it's much easier using the keyboard. But it boots up really, really quickly. And um, this works in HD, full screen. This goes a YouTube video of uh, some techie person, the EV blog. Well worth a watch if you're into into uh, en uh, electronic engineering and other technical stuff. And he's doing a tear down on some scape or something there. I don't know, I've not watched it. But anyway, it all works really well. And. Uh, Hope you've been watching lots of movies and doing whatever else you can do with, it, with a PC uh, while, you're, while you're laying in bed. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. Until the next video, bye for now.